I just found out that I have HIV. And the, when I first found out, I was scared, okay? I wasn't thinking. I didn't have any thoughts. I was mad. I was angry. But people that told me that I'm going to be all right, I just wanted to find out why and how did I get it. Got the HIV, and I know how I got it. Um, having a substance abuse problem can make you um, at a higher risk for HIV. Um, HIV is a disease that compromises your immune system, and being a substance abuse user, you're already compromising your, your uh, immune system by using substance, whether it's alcohol, marijuana, cocaine, heroin, you're lowering your immune system. So if you have a disease like HIV that's already putting your immune system at risk, it could really affect that. Um, it's kind of having a double whammy as far effect on your body, which makes things happen quicker. You could get sicker with HIV and turn it into AIDS quicker. Um, you might not respond to medications and all that. And also, um, looking at HIV and substance abuse, it also puts a person more at risk for being infected with HIV. Um, HIV is a disease where you have to do something to get, and if you're a substance abuser, you might not make the right choices as far as maybe sharing needles or having sex with someone that you don't know for drugs or money. Um, those are choices that could put you more at risk for HIV than someone that's not a substance abuser. So one of the things that I want to talk to you today about is one, protecting yourself, and two, really looking at, you know, why all of us together, I mean, I'm not trying to single any group out, but everyone themselves can be at risk for HIV, and we really have to take a look at it, take a hard look at it. I'm going to do this fun little chart that usually scares everybody because we all fall into this. But some of the substances that we're talking about when I talk about drug use, someone throw something out. What? Crack cocaine. What else? Heroin. What else? Marijuana. PCP. Meth. Methamphetamine. Ecstasy. Ice. Angel dust. There's lots of them. Prescription drugs. Some people are hooked on prescription drugs. Just because you get it from your doctor don't mean it's not a substance. Okay? Alcohol. Nobody said alcohol. Alcohol is a substance. Just because it's legal doesn't mean people don't get hooked on it, okay? So now let's take, we're going to do two charts here. Now this is Alice. Alice and Ben are girlfriend and boyfriend, okay? Alice, you know, she likes to get high once in a while. No big deal. She smokes a couple joints. No big deal. You know, every once in a while. It's not a problem. No problem. Ben... You know, he likes to get high, too. But his, alcohol is really his drug of choice. You know, alcohol is what he likes. So, you know, one time Alice got high at a party, whatever, and accidentally slept with Carl. She didn't really mean to sleep with Carl, but, you know, things happen, you know. No big deal. She wasn't going to tell Ben. He didn't need to know. Just going to upset him, right? Ben got drunk one night, was out, hanging with his boys. And he hooked up with somebody named Darlene, okay? Now, Darlene, she liked to do a little crack every once in a while. Not that she was really addicted to, but, you know, she out, someone had some. She offered up. Well, as time went on, she started liking it more and more. Well, then Darlene started, you know, she had some kids and everything. Money was tight. Well, she had this one guy that said, you know, hey, I'll do you a favor if you do me a favor, okay? So Darlene had one little John that she would hook up every once in a while. And so, let's see, A, B, C, D, E. Let's call him Earl, okay? So Earl would hook her up every once in a while, okay? So Earl, okay, Darlene wasn't his only trick. Darlene, you know, Darlene's thinking Earl's only messing with Earl. Well, Earl's messing with Francine, and Greg, and Harriet, okay? Now, Harriet, 